हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ टेक विद टी जी एम एन आप सभी टेक को पसंद करते हैं तो ये शो आप सभी के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा स्पेशल होता ही है हर बार बिकॉज दिस इज़ दैट शो जहाँ पे हम बात करते हैं कुछ नया कुछ यूनिक कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग ढूंढते हुए फ्रॉम द फील्ड ऑफ टेक एंड गाइज लेट मी टेल यू दिस वीक्स एपिसोड इट्स वेरी 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 स्पेशल बिकॉज वी नो टॉक अबाउट समथिंग रियली क्लोज टू आर हार्ट्स जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं और देखते हैं कि आखिर इस हफ्ते हम कौन सी नई टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में क्या नया डिस्कस करने वाले हैं माय नेम इज गौरव ए के टेक्निक गुरु जी जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं आई एम श्योर यू नो ऑल ऑफ यू नो हाउ मच इन्वेस्टेड वी आर इन द फील्ड ऑफ टेक मतलब इन द पास्ट हम हर बार कुछ एक नई टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में बात करते हैं वी हैव मेड एन एपिसोड अबाउट इसरो वी ऑल सेलिब्रेटेड द सक्सेस ऑफ आर ओन चंद्रयान थ्री एंड नाउ इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर डूइंग समथिंग स्पेशल बिकॉज आई एम गोना टेक यू स्ट्रेट टू बेंगलुरु जहाँ पे इसरो के हेडक्वार्टर्स हैं और वहाँ पे हम बात करने वाले हैं विद इसरो चेयरमैन एस सोमनाथ सर और काफ़ी एक अच्छा इंटरेस्टिंग इंट्रैक्शन है लेट्स गो टू बेंगलुरु एंड हियर वॉट ही हैड टू से वेन वी आज सम इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन अबाउट इसरो अबाउट स्पेस एंड अबाउट हिज ओन पर्सनल लाइफ चलिए शुरू करते हैं सर थैंक यू इट्स एन ऑनर टू बी हियर बिकॉज हम सब ने लाइव देखा था चंद्रयान को लैंड होते हुए आपसे बात करने का भी मौका मिला है आई एम श्योर दिस इज डेफिनेटली द बेस्ट टाइम टू स्टार्ट द मोमेंट आई केम इन हियर इस फैसिलिटी में सर इट्स अ डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड ऑल टूगेदर वी सॉ विक्रम सर का स्टैचू वी हैव द एंटायर लेगेसी ऑफ इसरो राइट बिहाइंड एस एंड इट्स एन ऑनर टू टॉक टू यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग एंड फॉर टॉकिंग to us 23rd of august no one can forget this date sir how was your feeling see i must admit you that um, i am really fortunate i was thinking like that it's i was i was telling thanks to whoever made me to sit at that moment at in that chair as a chairman of isro the chandrayaan program itself was a long drawn program in which chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 were involved of course my contribution specifically of course is the last phase of that mission where the certain decisions had to be taken to make this mission succeed hmm. which i played my role but of course the much of the engineering work has been done already by that time and i made sure that whatever we need to do uh, for that landing to happen is already done i was relaxed at this moment i know it's going to happen huh. because uh, all doubts were settled much before that possibly you are all of, all of you were very anxious for that 20 minutes i was not because i knew prior to 120 minutes itself it's going to land so, so that's, there that's was a, no doubt about that's it that's the most <laughs> savage answer i think it's a sign of you know a topper that all the all the hard work all the preparation already done done the night before the test is just for a deep sleep <laughs> precisely yeah <laughs> we do always like that see if you have any doubt i think we should, we should not venture into it hmm. but even after doing all of this still there can be mistake there yes. can be errors there yes. can be failures which uh, you have to explain later but we can only say within our minds we are done what is needed the indian national committee for space research started 1962 15th of august 1969 we had isro yes just for a comparison although there is no comparison but in pakistan uh, suparco started 1961 a year before india started the space research program but altogether what makes isro special i believe it has to do with the uh, legacy of leadership uh, it's very important for any organization from the early phase of the organization formation to certain maturity level you attain you need to have great leaders mm. uh, we were very fortunate to have been served by leaders like sara bhai baba in the early part later by sadesh thavan i think these three names are very important infrastructure technology knowledge etc are important but more than that uh, for an organization like this it is it is a inspiration element which is important you must feel happy of doing things sir apne inspiration jo word use kiya hai na i think right now india is inspiring everyone globally in a you know like layman's term if i were to ask you we finally you know made it we are the first country to reach the the south region of uh, moon how big is it as a you know positioning globally if i ask you see going to moon landing there being the fourth nation in the world to do so it's a great thing no doubt about it for a common person so technologically of course uh, i don't think that it is uh, it is something that was unsurmountable by the scale of it 
but even for them today to land there is still a challenge you let us not forget yeah. about the fact that it was also evidenced by the fact that luna 25 had a crash landing just mm. prior to us mm. there are people in india who are competent enough to imagine and do it it is not a small thing uh. so uh, though electronics engineering propulsion technology material science etc are only ancillary elements that will make it yes. but if you do not have the manpower the people who can dream about it plan about it the way to go there all of these are secondary issues Sir, no? i think i should <laughs> add indians can do it and indians can do it efficiently that of course has been proven many times uh, by the cost efficiency the the overall expenditure that we are managing the type of investment that you have created uh, all around are one of the lowest in any compared to anybody 2019 was the time uh, chandrayaan 2 uh, was you no know, not able to land and just in a short span of 4 years in between covid also came in yeah so how did we turn from chandrayaan 2 to chandrayaan 3 and i mean if i just ask that how much of a man force is behind the development i mean how is the entire setup in place see there are so many things in the last 4 years we had to sit almost an year to understand how it went wrong hmm. so series of reviews uh, simulations has to be done for first one year yeah at then we have a certain understanding then we look at for the next one year what all we need, we can do now hmm Uh, we plan what all to be strengthened where all additional changes have to happen all this went through and most of the recommendations to modify it were reviewed debated and we added uh, additional redundancy etc so that planning went for one year hmm. so two, two years over yes then next two years is making it huh. then testing it to an extent that we never ever did before yes. and when the vulnerability is revealed then we have to strengthen it huh. so that went on for next two years multiple tests multiple tests then by the end of it that we had the flight hardware that's what we meant so it was a very painful effort for the entire team of at least i must say thousands of people not one or two that you may not see all of them here hmm. but they are spread across different centers sir i think india is a preferred nation right now for many countries to launch their satellites considering how efficient we see, are see the no launching cost. of a commercial launching of a satellites in any country is driven by many many other parameters other than cost alone this is geopolitical let us understand so when you look at uh, launching satellites for commercial purpose for whom you are launching then or the rest of the world okay mm. uh, which includes africa the latin america the East, southeast asia yeah. the, the australia i think there are hundreds of countries again mm. so you have to capture markets from these nations which are only budding space faring nations huh. they are not the developed space faring nations they don't have their own setups so what india should do is india should create a market for launches for satellites of these nations hmm. so that there is a good market for them to come to india and launch and this is what we are trying to do create a market for small satellite launch platforms quick access to space launches hmm. cost effective competitive so that india can become a preferred destination well guys i'm really sorry to interrupt i'm sure aapko is conversation ke andar bahut zyada maza aa raha tha you know you all were completely soaked in but it's time for a short small short break i'll see you right after the break jahan pe hum dobara journey continue karte hain aur ye jo conversation hai sir ke sath mein ye aise hi bana rahega about isro Okay, welcome back after the break to your favorite show about technology, Tech with TG. And guys, this week's episode काफी special है हमारे लिए because हम सीधा बेंगलुरु में जाके बात कर रहे थे एस सोमनाथ सर से who is in fact the chairman of ISRO. So let's again go back to Bengaluru and see कि ये जो conversation है इसके अंदर आगे और क्या क्या हमने interesting बातें की हैं. So just a flat question: Do you believe in aliens? Why should I believe? You know. I, I, there is no need to believe or disbelieve okay i can only ask a question are there aliens or not okay so are there I, there is no question of believing are there are there <laughs> aliens or not okay i will say yes okay because what do you say alien alien is a life form which is different from yours huh. that's what you call alien now huh. see they may be brilliant like you they may be like ants not having brilliance like even an ant in another planet and is also an alien for you so any life form which is any life form a bacteria mm. in some other uh, another planet an exosolar planet could be mm. an alien for you mm. so i will i will tell like this my argument is that there is always aliens or other life form present in the universe because earth cannot be a only. by by an only one place uh, where the life originated so it's simply not possible maybe we are too lucky sir 
no no it's not the question of luck is not that it's a question of our ability to know uh -huh. see earth is such a you know what is earth earth is a planet around sun in a milky way galaxy which is sun is just one of the minor minute star of the entire galaxy where billions of stars are there it is a insignificant star sun and around that there is an insignificant planet called earth and there you are claiming yourself to be a very significant fellow and you think that you are the only one here Hmm. But just imagine in this uh, Milky Way galaxy itself, there are billions of stars, and most of the stars go to planetary system, and many of the planets can have life. Hmm. And we know today at least five thousand such planets have been found out hmm. in Milky Way galaxy itself. That and there could be many many more lakhs of them because our ability to detect them is still not grown to a level. Hmm. You understand our telescopes came only hundred years back, man. Yes. See our ability to contact uh, send a signal. Uh, in uh, along uh, our microwave came only just hundred years back. Uh -huh. We are just bachas today. Huh? So in another four hundred, five hundred years later, we may have much better capability to communicate, to know. At that time, we may come to know about it. Hmm. Only provided they are as brilliant as you, intelligent as you, they are developed to a level. Hmm. Suppose they are two hundred years behind you in terms of their technological growth, you will never know about them. Yes. They will make. Suppose they are should, going to take should, another should thousand be, years to thousand years to communicate with you. Uh -huh, you will uh -huh. never know about them. It doesn't mean that they are not there. I am so, very sure so, about so, so they are next there. Next time, next time, someone <laughs> someone asks me, I am going to say yes. Yeah, you must say yes. Yes. Because that is a first requirement for you to search for it. Yes. If you believe there is nobody else, you will be very complacent. Ah, uh -huh, makes sense. It is because Amerigo Vespucci or Magellan or Columbus know that there are lands that you should explore and find out. They went out and found out America. No. Hmm. If they believe that there is no land. They will be happy being in England and Europe, no? Unless someone from the other side <laughs> comes in. <laughs> so let us believe. Yeah. Uh, let us at least consider that there could be planets like Earth, and there are definitely that we know today by our observation. Yeah. And many of them have potential to remain, maybe much more habitable than this. Maybe life is thriving, but you also realize that the the signals go at the speed of light, hmm. and the closest planet to Earth is in. At a distance which is much longer than our life term. If a signal you send here, it reaches there after you are born. Many many light years. Many many light years. If you have to give any advice or any tip or like, if someone wants to pursue this field, I know it's a difficult one. Kya bahut zada mushkil hoga? Absolutely, it's not it's not difficult at all. I think I'll tell you a very secret. Okay. Space technology is not at all a difficult technology. If you believe that space technology is a very difficult technology, I am lying. Okay, uh -huh. but it has its own, like any other domain, it has its own intricacies. Okay, once you are into it, you are, you know it. Uh huh. So I can tell you only for anybody who wants to get into space, come with a passion. Hmm. Don't take it as a job. If you come take come take it as a job that I will spend some five years here and jump and then go into some other domain and do something else, you are mistaken. You will become nobody. Yeah. See, it it, it takes years of hard work to become an expert in some domain. Hmm. Each each one of us are reasonably reasonably high level of expertise in domains uh, which you cannot tell. It it took ten twenty years to become somebody who can stand up and speak about it. I I can only imagine starting yeah. in nineteen eighty five and yeah. Yeah, it takes time. Because the deeper the understanding, the the more correct that you are able to do, and it's a collection of such people that that makes it happen. Hmm. Novices cannot do this. Hmm. Of course, novices can do it, but they will they will face their so uh, misery later. Passion, passion <laughs> is required. Uh, skills will follow. Skills will follow. And see, all all those people who are working in ISRO came from ordinary background. Hmm. They are from uh, the second tier institutions, engineering colleges, diplomas, and technicians who came from such institutions. Are the collection of history, but they have they are able to do great work. Hmm. It is because through our connection, through our working together, all of them have grown, elevated themselves hmm. through their knowledge, their skill, and they are able to do it. And individually, they are very weak people. No, they individually they cannot do the beyond a point. Collective forces, but it is, is yeah. it is true. A gap of mine will be filled by somebody else. Yes, and this is the. And we, as manager, as leaders, we find out where are the gaps, where are the weakness. We we put people who will fill up that. Hmm. So through the connecting the chain appropriately, not to make any weak links, huh. we get things done. So it was great talking to you. <laughs> I mean, thanks a lot for your time. 
आई नो वी हैड अ लॉन्ग सेशन एंड मेरा मन कर रहा है कि मैं बातें और करता रहूँ करते रहे बट आई थिंक सम अदर टाइम वेन वी हैव द आदित्य एलवन रीचिंग द पॉइंट और मे बी वेन द गगनिया इज नो ऑल सक्सेसफुल so great meeting you sir thank and you so much uh, thanks for all the insightful information i'm sure all the viewers they'll have something or the other as a take away from this video be it passion be it something else but the magic stays chaliye shuru karte hain chaliye shuru karte hain thank you sir thank you so much so guys there you have it i mean what an amazing conversation humne kitni sari baatein kari hain and i mean it's such an insightful episode i am sure aap sabhi ko bahut maza aaya hoga jahan pe we heard directly from s somnath sir about isro about what are things going on aage future mein kya hone wala hai and let me tell you it is just the beginning because har hafte main kuch na kuch naya leke aata hu aapke liye and in the next episode i'll have some more Even amazing stuff about technology coming straight your way. But अभी के लिए इस एपिसोड को हम यहीं पर खत्म करते हैं बट आई एम श्योर हर रोज हम जितना टेक को पसंद करते हैं उतना हमारा इंटरेस्ट डेवलप होता है नेक्स्ट वीक विल अगेन मीट वंस अगेन टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू फ्रॉम द फील्ड ऑफ टेक इन योर फेवरेट शो टेक विद टी जी गाइज दैट्स इट फॉर दिस एपिसोड हैव अ गुड डे